Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again. Now, for those who haven't seen the previous video on this, I had mentioned that there were two forms of situationships based on my perspective. One was a non-effectual agreement, and then the second form is blackmail. I decided to do a continuation because there was one more that I left out. <laughs> Okay, so once again, one form of a situationship is non-effectual agreement. The second form is blackmail. Check this out. The third form is guilt trip. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's the third form of a situationship. And before I get to this, uh, just check out the link of my previous video that I did on situationships in the comment section below. Check that out, then come back to watch the rest of this video, okay? So uh, going forward with what I want to say about guilt trip, come on y'all, y'all know about um, what makes, it, it, you would think that guilt trip would be similar to blackmail because it's like the person puts you on a spot, you know what I'm saying? And, and they make you feel some type of way, so it makes you, basically have to be involved with them in a certain quote situation but the thing that's different about guilt trip versus blackmail more or less is uh a lot of times these are pretty much thoughts you put upon yourself without the person really saying it and usually what happens when there's a bad outcome of your type of relationship you have with an individual they'll usually say back in return well, I never asked for you to do that. <laughs> yeah, so that is part of the guilt trip because they may make you, you know, as as far as the way they they live in their life and the way they're coming at you and their type of energy, uh, it make make you feel compelled to do things for them, even if they didn't ask you to do these things. You just feel compelled because of your compassion. But nevertheless, it's a guilt trip because when it's all said and done. That person really don't like you anyway. You know what I'm saying? You'll do things for them, but they don't appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's just more or less a means to an end to them. They weren't expecting for you to do anything to them. So watch out for those guilt trips uh, as far as the situation ship, because it, it can be similar to blackmail as far as you feel like you're put on a spot because they put you on a spot about something they can use against you. And so now you're stuck into this certain situation with them. But now a lot of times you put yourself on a spot in regards to just having a guilt trip. They didn't do it, but you felt some type of way. You still felt like you have to be there for them. You have to be with them because of this or that or whatever reason. Really, you don't even have to be around them. You don't have to be with them. You don't owe them anything, right? But you still feel like you have to do things for them. You have to show them some type of affection or intimacy. On their end, they don't see it that way. You know what I'm saying? It's just to them another fling. Okay, cool. You came over, whatever. You know, that's how they literally think about it in their mind. And they'll let you just kind of do what you do for many years because they figured you're going to do things for them anyway. <laughs> you know, they, they don't really care about you like that. And, and it shows in their actions. So definitely watch out for the guilt trip. Definitely watch out for the guilt trip. Don't put yourself in that situation. A lot of that falls in the line of the codependency in a narcissist as far as that to uh, as far as that scenario. Uh, and, and, and the funny thing is with someone that is narcissistic like that, as far as that type of quote situation ship, uh, they don't care. They, yeah, they, they figure you'll be back, you know, because you can't help but to be there for them, you know, uh, despite their plight, which they may not necessarily see it as their plight. You know, they don't necessarily see that. They're struggling and that something's wrong with them, you know, so you, you really want to get around a person that uh, don't make you feel like that way. And, and a lot of times this guilt trip starts because maybe at one point it may appear that they appreciated what you do for them. But y'all had a few fallouts, right? They came in and out your life a lot. And so you kind of felt like to keep them in your life. You want to do things for them, or you may feel like in your heart, per se, you can't see yourself losing them. You don't know how to really, quote, let them go, you know, even though you probably need to do that. You need to move along versus moving on because I say move along instead. But 
It's just hard for you to do that because somehow, some way, some shape or form, you have this sense of attachment to this individual. Like you just have to be there for them when you don't. And that's the guilt trip part. That's the third form of a situationship. Besides a non-effectual agreement or blackmail. Signing out.